Okay. Wizard World 2018 uh, Pennsylvania Convention Center Philadelphia PA Review Part 3. <laughs> the part where you get to find out what my overall experience was and if I would recommend if I would recommend the event, etc. to you and your family. Especially with something like Wizard World. Alright, part one, quick rundown. Part one started off. Went up the escalator, walked through the archway, started off left, going left, left wall to right wall, up and down, up and down the uh, up and down the rows, not up and down, but back and forth on on the row between the rows. Part two found out. Part two continued. Uh, Basically, in the middle, there's what I call what I called Celebrity Row. In the middle of the con, there was a row straight back where the majority of the celebrities were. So, part two, part one, left side, part two, right side. Part three. Hold on one second. We're in Caddy in case we're in Caddy soccer. In case you're curious. All right, part part three, kind of leave, like to leave you on a cliffhanger. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Overall, my overall experience, and this is the next day. You know, it's you no, know, the next day back here in the Lehigh Valley. Wizard World was everything I ex I expected, and it far exceeded what I had expected. This was my first Wizard World Comic Con. Very, and I actually told some people that, and like, oh wow, that's cool. Welcome, you know. How are you? You know, very, very cool. The overall uh, experience with the staff when I checked in, as far as uh, you know, where I checked in at the pre at the person who took care of the press, the volunteers, the staff of the event, the vendors who I talked to a few. The authors, the artists, overall, this is these are great people, honestly. I even had a chance. To, please forgive me. I don't re remember his name, but uh, I spoke with one of, with one of the celebrities. Um, you know, overall, and to me, you know, like when you receive good service or when at an event, people are uncut, unscripted, edited, live and raw. You know, or when you're at an event. You know, it's like the volunteers, the staff, and everybody there is, you know, very glad that you sh showed up. Not just because you're spending the money, but genuinely glad that you're there and glad and trying to make sure you have the best possible experience. That is like one of the top two priorities with me. And Wizard World nailed that to a T. Without going into details, I've been doing this now officially for five years between two magazines. And the fact, you know, to receive the press credential alone to cover this was like, I'm like, oh, wow, this is, you know, this, I love this. Because I'm the entire staff. I'm a, it may not seem like, but I'm a very small indie, uh, <coughs> indie media. And then when I, you know, my experience, and I was paying attention to, you know, people who purchased tickets or who are purchasing tickets for the event there. So I was paying attention to the other staff and volunteers there when I was checking in. <coughs> I walked I walked up to I walked up to the general and even though the I totally forgot the email said go to the right, so I felt like an idiot. Popped in, you know, walked up to the general, they they pointed me toward the press check-in. I did not have a media badge because so I haven't had time to make one up yet, <coughs> to actually do one yet. So walked up, had my ID ready, handed it to him. I said, you know, I said my name is, you know, what's the, uh, I'm covering this for my magazine, Surreal Vale City. And it was just kind of, from previous experiences, um, you know, not getting into detail. But I did look, you know, I said, if, if you need the confirmation email, I do have the confirmation email. And the gentleman looked at me, he goes, well, I'm sure your name's on the list. It's unnecessary. Look, looked it up, looked it up. Told, you know, looked it up. 
uh, held out my right, uh, I saw him getting a wristband, held out my right arm. He said, uh, I need your left one. Held out my left one. I told him, I said, you know, it's kind of like amateurish, but I was like, I was thrilled to be there. I said, yeah, um, this is my first Wizard World. He was like, oh, welcome. Uh, I hope you have a good time. You know, security's right. You know, just go through security quick. Go in and enjoy. So, you know, just, you know, for the fact that Wizard World showed the small, not just the major media, but the small indies uh, treated, treated me just the same way as anybody, any other member of the press. That, I was like floored, I was like a mate floored by that. So anyway, back to the general experience. Spoke with a couple volunteers, spoke with a couple staff members, you know, just letting people know, hey look, this is my first one. Not trying to say it sound amateurish, but you know, trying to get the overall response and feel for it. It just, it was really cool. I mean, everybody was, people were friendly. They were very welcoming. Um, you know, went to the, especially the authors. I had some good, I had great conversations with the authors, some of the artists, some of the vendors. I think this is the Northampton Creek and Caddy, and Caddy, don't ask, please don't. But, you know, overall, just everyone made you feel like you belong there. Everyone felt like, hey, yo, you know what? You're gonna have a great time. We're gonna make sure of that. And they nailed, and they nailed that to a state of perfection. I mean, I know Wizard World has been around a long time, but you got, you know, the fact, you, sometimes events lose that. Um, so the level of service the level you know how welcoming everybody was the level of hospitality is what i was looking for just top top ratings top top notch top level i'm not going to go into the prices of anything because realistically that depended on the artist the vendor etc but i will say one thing like like in you know like other conventions like this or like a lot of other events even if you go to a church picnic yeah, you have you know you do have to pay the admission price, but it, but it's um, you know you want to you might want to bring some cash for you, especially if you if you're bringing your if you have kids and you're bringing them, bring some extra cash with you because you know that you want something to remember the event by. I have a, I have a nice little bracelet that says press. It's good enough for me, but you know take some extra cash along because. No, that it's really you know it's nice where even if it's just something for a couple bucks to support the to support the artists the vendors etc you know to show them hey thank you for the level of hospitality you get the point and i know i'm going very long on this but i'm trying to wrap it up right now kind of with wizard world philadelphia kind of be you know i would suggest honestly going later unless you're there unless you want to catch a celebrity and have or have something else to do later in the afternoon i arrived at approximately 11 o'clock if you look at the map the line was literally around the entire block of the convention center one block of the convention center you turned and started doubling back 11 o'clock hit, hit some you know hit my stops and fill it up my man my stops in Philadelphia I wanted to make for the magazine. Came back three o'clock, walked right in. So if you're down there and you have the day to kill the day to kill, just keep an eye on the line. If you don't feel like staying for a couple hours. Um, value for the price. Honestly, especially for a one time, no, even if you just want to hit this one time um if you especially if you have kids but even for yourself wizard world is something that is definitely worth the money worth the emission price it varies during the weekend on the weekend also if you want to get celebrity or just general mission it is something very cool to experience advanced warning though it is big and when i say it is big 
granted, I stopped and talked to people but, uh, once I got into especially the author, the author section and I did run into an old friend there, to, not an old friend, but a very good, a very good friend who really kind of like just made the weekend perfect. So, you know, it's just, it's definitely worth the experience. It was supposed to be thunderstorms and raining today. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it to experience it. But Wizard World, no matter what time you go, you get there. Wizard World is one where, in Philadelphia, make sure you have the time to, uh, you know, especially if you were uh, one of, you know, there for a celebrity appearance and you want to walk around and explore it, make sure you have, I would suggest, especially if you're bringing your, your family with one or more kids, I'd suggest four to five hours. You know, five hours maybe maximum. Oh, and before I forget, they did have places, uh, some vendors in there for food, beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, I did see. Um, and the wall, and the, the walls, I saw a lot of people sitting there taking a break. I would highly recommend that because I, because three and a half hours is like, granted, they're, you know, we're closing for the day, but three and a half hours, I was like, okay, I needed a break. But Wizard World is just something really cool. Even if you're really not into comics, superheroes, you know, the movies or anything, it's just a really cool and fun experience. And that's the reason why, why that's the, what I wanted to see, find out for myself and, for, and to see if I could recommend it to you and your family. It's a great time, honestly. You know, just meeting the people that you meet there. Um, the co the cosplay, just everything. It's oh, it is really worth your time, and it's really it's worth your time, and it's worth the money, if for nothing else than to do it just one time, and have the memories in the in the photos, etc. So, if there is a Wizard World Comic Con in, in this city that you that you live in or near, make sure you get out there. I'm looking. I'm already looking. Seriously, I'm looking forward to next year. You know, <laughs> see the see the changes that they make. Um, and this is just like, it's you know, if you're oh, you're going down to Philly, you're going down to Philly today. It's still going on. You might still have some time to get to get in quick and check get, get a quick check uh, check it out real quick. But Wizard World Comic Con on your overall. Things to experience list. I hate to use that other term with a pa I don't with a passion. Make sure it's towards the top of it. It's a great time. Michael Phoenix, founder and staff for the magazine. This one went real long, but I really wanted to get the point across to you. Please support the people and businesses on thanks to the sponsors page. Without them, the past five years and two magazines couldn't have happened. To everybody out there. Uh, for all the support they give and the people, especially people behind the scenes um, sponsors behind the scenes without you the past five years wouldn't the first five months wouldn't have been worth it let alone five years take some time out enjoy enjoy life enjoy life with your family friends and take some time out for yourself Wizard World 20, 2018, uh, Pennsylvania Convention Center, Philadelphia. Actually, I did. That's that is what I what I ended up doing, and trust me, it was worth it.